Not ready for that, Ahen. Holy moly. Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another animation video on this channel. Today I'll be watching acting to Momoland with their comeback, finally, called Yummy Yummy Love, uh, featuring or collabing with Nati Natasha, which is a uh, Latin singer from Dominican Republic, I believe. I don't know much about her, so I just looked her up, you know, and figured that out, but you can let me know more about her in the comments if you want to. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be an English song, but I believe it is, because it came out at, like, an American time as well. It's, like, very unusual. For me, by the way, it's 3 a.m. right now, so I'm just still awake. I shouldn't be, but I am. So I'm like, instead of waking up at 10 and filming this at 10 very late, I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to do it now and then sleep, I guess. But yeah, let's check it out. I have not heard the teasers. I have not seen them. Um, so I don't know what to get into here, you know, what I'm expecting. And also, it has been a hot minute since Momoland came back, so I'm excited. Let's get it. If you want to see more Momoland reactions, you can check them out in the pinned comment. Because I am here for Momoland, but... I'm interested in what yummy, yummy, yummy love. Natasha is gonna bring uh, no subtitles. Maybe it's English, I don't know. Yummy, yummy love. Oh, it's very k poppy though. That's for sure. They look good. I'm happy to see them. Has been a minute. Ahin, I learned one thing. I've seen actually teaser pictures and I've learned that Ahin has the pink hair right now, I believe. I hope that's correct. But holy shit, she looks amazing. I don't know the face as well, so this helps to know that it's her. This is Chewy? I think so, but she looks so different. <laughs> oh, I like her voice. The whip. So far, it's English, by the way. <laughs> okay, no. First and foremost, I really like the drop. Actually, it's pretty. It's low key. I like that. But I just had to laugh out loud because of the lyrics. Are you ready for laugh like this? Which is pretty cool. Are you ready for then, are you ready for yummy yummy laugh? <laughs> I don't know why I had to laugh so much about it, but yummy yummy laugh. Are you ready for yummy yummy laugh? <laughs> You can also misunderstand that in a in a different context, to be honest. But no, that was just so hilarious to me just now. Oh, okay. First kiss. The melody is catchy. Oh, okay. Nazi coming in. Oh, she's here with them. That's cool. I want to tap that. Oh. Okay, girl. So, this is not at all Latin. Uh, so, I'm surprised. She even dancing with them. You'd love to see that. <laughs> no, not ready for that, Ahen. Holy moly. I died there. That wing, but also this look. You know, the I, I, I'm, I have a weak spot for hair behind one ear, right? On the one side, and on, on the other it's not. Like the exposed neckline here, the exposed ear. She looks fantastic. The drip. I think that's actually Jewy though. Oh my god. Hey! I think... I actually like the post-chorus even more than the... Um, start to the chorus itself. Oh. 
Rep? Maybe? No? Why, why were they like meeting like they're like rivals in an anime? <laughs> Oh, high note, nice. Burden per se, bye. Nah, man. I'm just gonna look up Momoland K profile on my second screen real quick. Just to know who this girl is, because I have to make sure I know. It's Jane. Oh, she's the main answer to what? <laughs> How is she like flexing vocals in this song twice now? Shit. She's pretty too. It's a problem. Oh, I'm so happy for them. No one is back. That was actually pretty good. Like, I was, I'm just gonna be honest here, like 100, right? I was pretty worried if, like, when I saw them collabing again for a comic, because Red My Plastic was already kind of a collab slash remix. So it feels like, I don't know what MLD is thinking. Maybe they're thinking that they're, they're not as confident in Momoland to pull, like, a lot of viewers in. So they're trying to get, like, a collab going to, you know, just get more viewers from a different fandom as well together with the Momoland fandom. I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, also, Momoland, were they Mary, Mary's? Mary Gorons? The fandom name? Mary Gorons, yeah. Um, so I'm not sure if they're trying to combine both. Maybe, I, I can just imagine that. So I was kind of worried. Because I was like, mm, what's that song going to be like? Probably not very K-pop-esque. But hey, this is, out of the whole, like, it's by the way, full English, out of all of the English K-pop songs, this is one of the most K-pop-esque English songs, if that makes sense. This could go well in Korea, but also in America. So I think this is a really good song. Very good bridge between the two. Um, I thought it was also super cool that Nati is in the video with them together, right? And even dancing, literally in the outro shot as well. She's literally kind of becoming part of the group here in this video, which is really cool. Uh, I'm not sure if she added that much to the song itself, to be honest. You know, she had that one little verse, which was cool and all. So it's more like a feature for sure than a color. But um, I appreciated that she's here and that she actually learned to choreo and danced with them. So um, I like that a lot, to be honest. So respect on her name for sure. I don't know her, but respect. Um, Jane is a problem. You know, like, I, I know Dewey very well because I looked, like, I know them since Boom Boom and I know every title track since Boom Boom. And I looked them up and I was like, okay, I really like Jui. And I just kept only looking at Jui, to be honest. I never really learned the names for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but oh my god, Ahin and Jane are problems. Like, straight up, I'm telling you, they're problems. Ahin is their main vocal, by the way. Interesting. I find it really interesting how Jane is then flexing in the song vocally. That just kind of shows how versatile they are, I guess. And also, this seems to be, I mean, it's a K profile, so you can't 100% count on it, but. Yeah, that is uh, Momoland with Yummy Yummy Love. It's actually surprisingly a good song. Like, no, that's rephrasing that. This is surprisingly good and much better than I anticipated. AKA, I was quite worried and I'm actually very relieved that it's pretty good. Um, also, I'm just so happy to see them back, to be honest. I wish they would have more, re like, regular comics. And just also more, much more albums, like... Come on, like, Starry Night had an album, but it was really just a fan album with... If I remember, some of the songs were pretty low quality in, like, production. Like, actually felt like... I don't know, man. It felt very bad, to be honest. But when was their last album, like... For real, I don't know. When was their last mini album? I mean, uh, before Starry Night, of course. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, it was with Bam, okay. Well... A four song mini album with Bam and a four song mini album, four and a half, I guess, with Boom Boom before that. Before that, they had more mini albums and stuff, so I don't know why they're just not doing it since then. 
it's just really odd to be honest. Uh, anyway, it is what it is, I guess. We have to be happy with what we get so far. Uh, maybe that's also the reason why I never completely put my all into this group and learned them and, and got more invested because I'm kind of scared of getting into invested into someone that is so inconsistent, almost as inconsistent with faces as Blackpink, who at least is present in everything else, kind of, their names and like like ad campaigns and stuff, you know. But it's, it's pretty scary, to be honest, so I just am hesitant. But yeah, Ayn and Jane, good song. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Peace.